A new WRX for WRC, an avalanche from Gimbala, and yet another new crossover from BMW. What's up everybody, I'm Derek D, and Monday you said I wasn't too lively, but I'm feeling lively today, yes! World Rally fans got the news they've been expecting since the new Subaru Impreza debuted last year. It's the Impreza WRC 2008 rally car. Subaru released the first images of the car drivers Petter Solberg and Chris Atkinson will pilot in the Acropolis Rally in Greece next weekend. Acropolis will mark the racing debut of the new Impreza racer, few details of which have been revealed. Subaru did say the new race car will get the familiar Subaru powertrain of a horizontally opposed turbocharged engine and symmetrical four-wheel drive system. And that surprised exactly no one. Still, fans have high hopes that the new car will return Subaru to rally dominance and repeat Petter Solberg's last win at Acropolis in 2004. Subaru haters, of course, hope it gets stuck in a giant crater filled with tzatziki sauce. Porsche Tuner Gimbala wants respect, and not just from certain overpaid sports figures, most of whom aren't allowed to use their hands. You know who you are. In that regard, the company's introduced its latest 911 tweaker. It's the Gimbala Avalanche 600 GT2 Evo. Based on the Porsche GT2, the Evo not only includes a ground effects package that would fit right in parked outside Barre in Belmar, New Jersey. It also gets an engine kit that boosts power to 600 horsepower from the stock GT2's 530. While the Evo 0 to 60 time gets a tenth of a second boost to 3.5 seconds, top speed is also reduced to just under 200. So why bother with upgrade package at all? Well, if you have to ask, you haven't spent enough time in Vegas with Joe Rogan. I'm just saying. Actually, it's about the suspension, and Gambala says its variable ride height, coilover system, and brake upgrade improves the GT2's already sick performance profile. Whatever you say. Next up, yet another BMW crossover is caught by the spies, and a man gets a smackdown for illegal inspection, if you know what I mean. That's the Internet Rumor Mill, right after this. Da -da. So, so something to say? Well, send us an email at tips at fastlanedaily.com. Want to send me something? Maybe comment on my lovely tie? Send me an email at DerekD at fastlanedaily.com. And if you have a forum thread or news story you want us to know about, well, just submit it to feed.fastlanedaily.com. Simple, people. How many new car models does BMW need? Well, apparently it's somewhere north of infinity. That's the mathematical concept denoting an unbound limit, not the Japanese luxury brand. Just clearing that up. Anyway, BMW's latest new model to hit the spy photo circuit is what's being called the BMW F3. It's part 3 series wagon, part X3 SUV. And spies recently caught a test mule of the F3 during a European test run. Word is the upcoming crossover will get BMW's latest X-Drive all-wheel drive system, make it in essence a smaller version of the BMW X6. Some say it'll be more of a high roof utility van or MPV like the Mazda 5. Whatever it is, we'll likely get a first look at the BMW F3 at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 2009. And finally, a Kentucky man is under arrest today after trying to lure a woman into his Ford Crown Vic. The man, creepily named Michael Myers of Louisville, was charged with impersonation of a police officer when he told a local woman she had too much to drink and that he would drive her home. According to a report, two local firemen intervened and called police. Myers then consented to a search of his car where police found a silver badge that read Official Boob Inspector, Department of Titillation. Police confiscated the badge, noting the Department of Titillation was out of its jurisdiction. Well, that's the end of Fast Lane Daily for today. Make sure you watch the show tomorrow. I'm Derek D. I'll see you later. I'm thirsty. Mm-mm, goodness. Goodbye, people.